The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Uh, you may or may not know that Father Joe Crocker is in the hospital at Akron uh, City. Uh, yesterday, his blood pressure skyrocketed in the morning, and so for precaution, he did go to City. Uh, the blood pressure came down, and they were keeping him overnight. I saw him yesterday, and he was in good spirits, and see him again today. So hopefully it's not something major or whatever it is. They, they obviously can deal with it. Uh, again, he was at the hospital he was active and talking and positive and all of that so uh, we do keep him in prayer a quick show of hands here how many people out there are grandparents raise your hand if you're a grandparent I figured there are a bunch around you know and uh, this day, obviously, is remember Saints Joachim and Ann. Uh, we can think of it as, as, as Grandparent Day within the uh, Catholic Christian community. And we're reminded how important grandparents are. In fact, I often say to people, hey, you are a grandparent. And uh, to recognize that. And uh, when we think of Joachim and Ann, and, and it's interesting, uh, the whole notion of, the, of, of even their names uh, weren't known right away, but probably it was within the first century or so after Jesus died and rose that 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 reflection came well here you know we we uh, venerate mary we we hold her up we honor her as the mother of jesus as uh, as the the greatest disciple and so open to god and to the spirit and uh, we know she was touched by god obviously from her birth but still she had to be raised in a family and so without knowing a lot of details about this couple, we do know that somehow in some way they conveyed a beautiful faith to Mary. That uh, when the Gabriel came uh, uh, to speak to her, she was open. She was a young woman of faith, obviously influenced in her family life because so often that's where faith begins. And she was grounded. And she dealt with a lot of hardship in her life. And even uh, when she is pregnant with the Messiah, uh, she hears about Elizabeth, who's her kinswoman. And she goes and visits Elizabeth and reaches out to her. So you see strong family ties there. You see deep faith there. You see a great love for the Lord God there. And, uh, and it reminds us that, that so much of that does begin in family life. And I know in family life, talking to people too, sometimes people can anguish that maybe I'm sure some of you today may say there's some grandchildren that you know that maybe aren't practicing the faith or, or just don't seem to be so vital and, and continue as grandparents to pray for them. Uh, but to recognize there's an influence that maybe all of us don't recognize that we're called to have, especially for the young. You know, there's a great concern today. Uh, statistics show that a lot of young people, especially 20-somethings, uh, many of them aren't going to church, and the surveys seem to show they may not come back, you know? So all the more, we need people who are models of faith, who encourage the young, who, who help them to see that the greatest gift parents or grandparents or anybody can give to their kids is not how much money they'll make someday or what college they go to. That all has its place. But what kind of faith they have and, and do they live that, 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 that foundation of faith that's, that's the greatest heritage that can be passed on as we hear even from Sirach who writes uh, 2,300 years ago. So today we pray for family life. We pray especially for the young. We pray for people of every age that uh, somehow, some way, uh, we will continue daily to be inspired and not give up on anybody else, especially in family life. Because the Lord never gave up on us and the Lord doesn't give up on anybody and neither should we. We too are called to walk in faith 
the faith that we certainly want to share. Let's take that quiet moment and we'll pray. And obviously in a moment too, we'll pray here for Father Joe Crocker. God bless.